Here is what you can expect to see in Windows 12. Microsoft are well and truly underway with their next so-called latest and greatest release of Windows. Many reports, studies, and leaks have suggested that we can expect to see a new version of Windows rolling out sometime in 2024. As of right now however, nothing has been officially confirmed by Microsoft, and these hints and leaks are just a preview of what's really coming, so the actual release of Windows 12 will probably be a bit different, or at the very least, similar, to what we have seen so far with developer previews and leaks. That being said, there is no guarantee that there will be a Windows 12, but the chances of Microsoft releasing a new version of Windows are very high, as they are also apparently going back to their traditional three-year release schedule for Windows, so we should expect to see new versions every three years from now on. What we can expect to see is somewhat yet to be known, however, many people think that Windows 12 is going to get heavy integration with artificial intelligence, there are also rumors that the user interface will be slightly different to Windows 11. Windows 12 is expected to have more dirty data collection tactics pumped into Windows, which is most unfortunate, because this only means more data harvesting from both consumer users and business users, and it's supposedly going to be 10 times worse than what we have now, due to the tight integration with the AI services Microsoft has. Windows 12 will quite literally send trackloads of your data to Microsoft, and potentially third parties. Windows 11 sends your data to third parties, in case you didn't know. So it will be no surprise that Windows 12 will also have the same, if not, more extensive tactics to collect every bit of information off of that user's computer. While there are some negatives to Windows 12, it's also possibly going to improve on what we have now, supposed new features artificial intelligence integration, and a supposed refresh of the Windows kernel are all hints that we may see a miracle, or it could be like Windows 11, a blessing, and a curse, so what we actually know about Windows 12 is yet to be fully confirmed by Microsoft or any reputable company or source, however, it is very likely that Microsoft are well underway with their next version of Windows, so in October 2024, one year before Windows 10 goes end of life, we should see a new release of Windows, and many will probably consider it to categorically fall into the good releases of the well-known good-bad release cycle that has been heavily associated with Windows releases since its initial release in 1985, however, I can say that you cannot definitely say that release is good or bad, that goes by everyone's personal preferences and opinions but the facts are that there were certainly versions that were better and improved than others. Take Windows XP and Vista for example, XP was stable and reliable, but Vista was noon flashy, but required more powerful hardware to run on, which led to many being disappointed and dissatisfied with it, because it either broke their existing machine, or performed extremely poorly, at a snail's pace in other words, so you can see why specific versions were hated and others were loved and adored, but Windows has always seen negative connotation from outsiders such as the Linux community, even Mac users liked to shit on PC users a lot back in the day, although this has died down in the last 15 or so years, as in 2006, Apple switched to using Intel processors, so their machines were on par with PCs at the time, this was the case until they notably switched to ARM-based processors in November 2020, with their new M1 Max, which are supposedly more powerful than their predecessors, but PCs can still outperform Macs thanks to the wide range of hardware available for them. Anyway, back to Windows 12, we can also expect SSDs, solid state drives, to be a mandatory requirement, so those of you who still use the good old spinning hard drive will not be able to run Windows 12 whatsoever. So unfortunately for you, you might have to miss out on the latest version, however, the majority of people have PCs or laptops with SSDs. Or the newer NVMe SSDs, so most, if not, all users who have capable PCs should be able to run it with little to no issues, although I would personally recommend that you wait on upgrading, as sometimes it can be risky. Due to the amount of bugs and flaws discovered in Windows on a regular basis, it's advisable to say the least to wait until you know that most, if not, 
All of the major problems have been ironed out, but it's totally up to you as to whether or not you want to upgrade. However, with many users on Windows 11 downgrading to Windows 10, this shows that 10 refuses to die even less than two years before it goes end of life. So this really might give Microsoft some incentive to extend the deadline for the official end of life date for Windows 10. However, it is more likely than not that they will not be doing this, and instead push users towards their latest and greatest version of Windows, in any way possible. This has always been and always will be the case, in fact, it's a security practice to be on the latest version of any operating system, as the newest release usually has more enhanced features, functionality, and better security, especially with a system like Android, BSD, or Linux. However, supported older releases are still viable to use, and even when a release goes end of life, some software and developers continue to support that older version. A lot of stuff still works on Windows 7, even though it has now been end of life for about 3 years, going for. So this really goes to show you that some users are stubborn to upgrade, and you can understand why, but guys, please, don't put you and your data at risk of malware. A lot of nasty stuff exists out there, it's pretty darn harsh and devastating, can have a great impact on your PC's performance and usability, especially with ransomware. Do not use an outdated operating system that is no longer supported by its developers, this always introduces significant security risks, and your system will not get any bug fixes or improvements, so it will feel outdated, but for those of you who do not want to go to Windows 10 or 11. I would highly recommend you switch to Linux, as it's free and open source, works really well even on older hardware, and there is a great plethora of FOSS applications for you to discover and use, you can save heaps of money by doing this. So if you want to use an up-to-date, modern and stable system, then I would highly recommend you upgrade to Linux Mint, as it is a wonderful beginner-friendly distro. That is unless of course you use software that does not have a free equivalent, but then you would not want to switch to Linux if that was the case, wouldn't you? See, there is no easy path for the end user, it's either you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't, which is most unfortunate, but this is the way things are, reality does not care about your so-called facts, and facts don't care about your opinions, remember that, and this world is driven by profit, money and evil is what makes the world spin, not love, compassion, care, and all that good stuff. Sorry to break it to you like that, but it's the truth, and the truth is what should matter to everyone, but with Windows, you can clearly see that there is a lack of any thought or perspective for the end user. Microsoft shoves everything into a bag and expects it will turn out to be good, but put too much money in the equation and you will end up with a rushed product to market that is very poor in quality, which would then leave lots of people disappointed, just like what happened with Windows 11, Windows 8, Windows Vista, and so on and so forth, so Windows 12 could be a big disappointment, or it could be a really good release, or it could be a combination of the good, the bad, and the ugly, and I would have to predict that it will likely fall into a good, bad, and ugly category as Windows 11 is also considered to be good, bad, and ugly by some users, and if you are not prepared to deal with Windows being subscription-based, or you heavily dislike their dirty data collection tactics, you can always ditch it and switch to an alternative OS, which in most cases would be Mac OS or Linux for most users. However, the majority of people cannot switch due to software incompatibility. Hardware incompatibility is also an issue, so this prevents lots of people from switching, and Linux is usually used by more tech-savvy users. Do you expect someone who cannot use an Android phone to be able to use Linux? No, they would quite obviously struggle with great difficulty to accomplish even the most basic of tasks, so you cannot always tell someone to switch to Linux or Mac OS. Most people simply do not want to change, nor have to learn something new and different. Most people are happy with the substandard garbage Microsoft puts on their plate, and while Windows was improving significantly once upon a time, nowadays, many see it going in the opposite direction, it is only getting more and more bloated, with it where, spyware and all, more and more control is being taken away from the end user.
Privacy has pretty much gone out the window completely, if you know what I mean, and subscription-based products are reality and are not going away anytime soon. They have taken over physical media and quality of products, so an operating system being subscription-based, especially considering how big streaming services and video game subscriptions are these days really is not all that surprising to also see Windows come into the subscription-based market which will leave poor people no choice but to stay with whatever version they are using. Windows is really a service now, not a utility used to get work done, and I think that the way Microsoft are pushing it is utterly disgraceful and disrespectful towards the end users. No wonder they get so much hate and backlash from their extremely large base of users. They are not impressed with the quality of the product. Can you blame them for doing such things? No. And the people who use Mac or Linux often have way more positive to say about their system, although both the Mac OS and Linux face lots of criticism and a bit of negative connotation as well. So no system is perfect, they cannot be, it's just the way that things are. However, Linux is certainly better than Windows in some regards, but in others, Windows can still accomplish stuff not doable on other systems, Saw no amount of telling people to migrate will get everyone to go to Linux or Mac OS. It's not how things work. There would have to be a very big compelling reason for everyone to do so, and they would also need to see whether or not it suits them. Everyone has different tastes, right? So this also equates to us liking different operating systems. With the next supposed release of Windows expected to launch in the second half of 2024, we can only expect things to get worse and worse, as they cannot get better, so they can only get worse, and this will continue to push some more people to switch to Linux, as many are starting to get fed up with the substandard garbage they have been forced to use for many years. Some want a simple system that just works and gives you complete and total control over the very expensive product you bought and paid for with hard-earned money. So is it any wonder Linux is gaining some more attention from users? No, it really isn't. But Windows will continue to dominate the desktop market for centuries to come, and there is absolutely nothing me or you, or anyone else for that matter, can do about it. You will have to either suck it up and get used to Microsoft giving you substandard garbage forevermore, or switch to an alternative system and get used to using it and the software developed for it. What do you think you will see in Windows 12? Do you think it will be good, bad, or a combination of both? Let us all know down in the comments below. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next video. Bye for now.